I began to have um, the worst chills I've ever had in my life. I've had malaria before, and those cause like really, really, really devastating chills, but there was nothing like COVID. So I was admitted, I was in the hospital for five days. I was placed immediately on oxygen. It's difficult being in the hospital when you can't see your family. I don't think people can fathom that until it actually happens, but not being able to see your family, not having them be able to come visit you, that's very difficult. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Daddy. Okay, blow Daddy a kiss. Fatigue is something I, I struggle through and fight, fight through. Uh, on a daily basis. I now take three hour long naps in the middle of the day, which I never, you know, did before. It takes me longer to get, you know, very everyday tasks accomplished. So having that experience gave me a lot of empathy for the things that students are dealing with now. I've had a number of students who have had um, close relatives who've had COVID. I've had students and colleagues who've had um, family members who've had COVID and family members who've passed away because of COVID. Uh, they will initiate conversations with me about, you know, what it means for a family member to have COVID, to be in the hospital, to be on the verge of being intubated, to be intubated. Having those personal insights gives me the, the ability to talk them through that very sort of difficult set of moments that their family will be dealing with. My students have shown an enormous amount of resilience in the face of COVID with all the challenges that they're dealing with and that we all are dealing with. So I had a class this past semester where they had a final book to read and I knew because we were getting over that last hurdle in the course that their energy level wasn't quite there. So I asked them, I gave them the sort of the right to vote on this. Do you want to meet to talk about the book, to have a full on discussion of the book or should we cancel class and you guys have a quiz and a discussion thread in Canvas? So the vote came back, it was a consensus. They all wanted to be in sort of our virtual environment to discuss the book. And what that proved to me is that students have formed a community over time in that class. Um, they wanted to see each other, wanted to uh, talk to each other about the book, and really just to, to be part of a learning community.